Hi everybody, my name is Jonathan Mitchell. Uh, I'm a former Marine. I'm from Louisiana, uh, Lafayette, Louisiana to be exact. I'm a raging Cajun. I'm proud of where I come from. Uh, I'm a big hunter, avid hunter. Um, I was in the Marine Corps for five years. I'm now 27 years old. I joined right out of high school when I was 18. Um, it's something that I wanted to do since uh, probably sophomore year. I was playing football and the recruiters came to the high school and just basically stole me. And that's something I wanted to do the, the whole time I was in high school. I planned on it. So when I got out, the first thing I did, I signed up at 18 years old. I uh, went overseas, did my time in Iraq. I, I did my service over there. Uh, my, in, my MOS was 0311 Infantry. I was a grunt. For those of you who don't know what that is, we're the ground unit, the people on foot, uh, first in fight, last out. Um, whenever I got back from Iraq, uh, I had a lot of, uh, I'd say, a lot of, a lot of issues coping, being back in society, um, taking a lot of classes and stuff like that. Uh, I went and saw um, a psychiatrist because I was having issues in my marriage. I was married, I got married at the end of my service in 2009, and uh, I was having uh, a lot of issues coping with basically just being a civilian again. So I went to see a psychiatrist, and my psychiatrist, within 10 minutes of meeting her, she put me on, at the time, four different psychiatric medications, she diagnosed me with bipolar disorder. She diagnosed me with PTSD, anxiety. I had trouble sleeping. I had night terrors. Um, she put me on sleep medication. She put me on a concoction of medications. And it was, for the, for the longest time, it was very frustrating because I'd have such, such bad side effects from these medications. Some, I'd have very bad night sweats. I'd have uh, night, night terrors would sometimes would get worse. I'd wake up screaming and, uh, and just the side effects was what was the bad thing for me because I'd have to keep going back to the psychiatrist and then she'd put me back on different medications uh, to try to uh, cancel out the, 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 the night terrors or to cancel out the night sweats. So she was telling me, here, try this with this medication. It, this will take away this. And so there was a time there I was on four or five different uh, medications, Depakote, Sertraline. I've tried all the, the different depression medications. They've put me on such a variety of them. They've all had bad side effects. I just couldn't deal with it. I couldn't handle it. It was horrible. Uh, it was affecting my life in, in the worst way possible. I have two kids. Uh, I felt like the psychiatric medications were making it worse. I was on psychiatric medications for the better part of four years. I, um, I was looking for an, an, another alternative. Uh, my girlfriend's mother um, noticed that I was having issues uh, in the relationship. And she, she, she noticed these things and, and from what her daughter told her, she asked me to come out to the ranch, Dr. Young's ranch, and try the PH Miracle, try the, just, just come out here and listen. And one of the things she told me that I had to do would be to cut out meat. And, and that <laughs> was a joke to me. I laughed in her face at, at that time when she told me that. Like I said, I'm an avid hunter, hunter from Louisiana. I love eating meat. I'm a big meat eater. I, uh, I didn't think that it, there was no way that that would be possible, but, uh, I came to the ranch and I got educated. Dr. Young gave me a couple of his classes and you know, we as kids are, are, are taught that um, you know, these meat is a major, it's a, it's a trillion dollar industry that's pushed by these big corporations and, and you know, we're taught as kids that meat's part of the major food groups and they serve that to us, and, and, but once I got educated on what it actually does to the body, and I got educated on you know, w what nutrients I should be putting into my body, uh, Dr. Young gave me the PH uh, Miracle book, I read it, um, 
and uh, it's forever changed my life. I I can't <laughs> I can't even begin to thank Dr. Young enough for how it's changed my life. Uh, after I came out here in the at the end of April, and um, by a month and a half, I had lost about 20 pounds. Right now, I'm at 30 pounds. I've lost 30 pounds. I feel wonderful. Uh, about a month ago, I've winged myself completely off my psychiatric medications myself. Like I said, I felt that they were making my life worse, my, my, my issues. I felt that they were making them harder. Um, I, don't, I don't know if psychiatric medication is the best for everybody. You know, but I'm sure it helps some people, but for me, it was just uh, it was something that my body couldn't tolerate, and I felt that I, like I was getting worse. I, I gave the PH Miracle a chance and the, uh, the program, and so far, so good. I feel 100% different. I feel like my life's changed for the better. Um, I want to shout this news from a mountaintop, really. You know, I, I tell all my friends, I, try to get my family to, to, to get on the program. Um, I even went back to see my primary doctor with the VA to let him know that I had weaned myself off my psychiatric medications. And this wasn't my psychiatrist, this is my primary doctor. And uh, his name's Dr. Blaine, actually. And I uh, went to him and when I told him that I got myself off psychiatric medications, he looked at me like I was crazy, told me that I, his exact words that were that I needed to get back on. He said that most people that get off themselves will end up jumping off a building. And not only did I tell him that I wasn't interested and I told him what I was doing, he laughed at me when I told him the program that I was on. He laughed in my face, told me that basically that's not going to work. and he pushed psychiatric medications on me. And for my doctor, who's not even my psychiatrist, he doesn't handle, handle my mental health. He, uh, he pushed these psychiatric medications on me over and over and over again. I told him I wasn't interested, that I was happy. And I uh, asked him if he could please leave my mental state and my mental status up to my psychiatrist. And if he could just handle my physical part since he was my primary doctor. Um, and he said okay and after that I walked out of his office and I immediately changed my primary doctor. I never saw him again because I didn't agree with the fact that he tried to, to push psychiatric med medications on me. I, I, feel like, um, I feel like that's one of the huge reasons, huge main things that's wrong with this world today is the, the industry of psychiatric medications and how they're pushed on people. Uh, you know, you, people are, are, are supposed to be able to cope with some, some things and these, these medications are out there that people get addicted to and get hooked on. And it's just, there's a better alternative. The, the, the uh, PH Miracle and the program that I'm on is by far the healthiest thing that a person can do for their body. And uh, I have Dr. Young to thank for that and I'll be forever grateful to him. And if anybody out there is looking for another alternative, I would highly recommend that you give this a shot. This is, this is the way to go. And, uh, and I, I hope to forever be in, in, in uh, dedicate, I'm, I'm gonna dedicate my life to basically getting the word out there. So uh, I hope everybody uh, takes this word that I say and, and know that this is the truth and this is something that needs to be looked into and this comes from the bottom of my heart because I know there are plenty of Marines and I have a lot of friends out there and other people that are in the same boat that I was in the same situation that I am that I am in uh, that I was in and I want to help I want to help people so uh, I hope that everybody takes this word that I'm, I'm giving out seriously and and maybe look into it Thank you.